Hey guys, what's going on? Taylor here from Horsepower Games. Today we're playing uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on the PS3. Um, love this game. Used to play it all the time. One of my favorite Need for Speeds. Still is my favorite Need for Speed. You know, the ones that have come out after this, you know, they really can't touch it. It was uh, the best of the E3 2010 at the Game Critics Award 2010. It was a great game. I loved it. This is actually from the like the Lamborghini pack or something. It's a Cannonball. It's a Gauntlet event. Um, it's actually based off of like the movie Cannonball Run. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but it's, it's a great movie. It's awesome. You have uh, two chicks and Lamborghini King Tosh run up behind the cop car and actually engage in a pursuit on purpose. So it's kind of cool that the game sort of implemented that from the movie and even called it you know Cannonball. Um, the graphics in this game are pretty great. They're, they're epic, honestly. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the handling and stuff, not so great. You know, it took me a little bit, as you can see, to get used to the game because I haven't played it in a long time, like a year or so. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's just like all other Need for Speed games, you know, they're arcadey. You know, when as soon as you're playing it, you realize that. You're like, oh, this is an arcade game, you know. But it's still great, you know, I love it. You can see busting through that roadblock like it's no problem. <clears throat> 160 mile an hour. Um, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you see uh, you got turbo and spike strips right there. Just use a spike strip on the police. Maybe not so realistic that I can use spike strips on the police. Um, too bad. Normal cars don't have that in real life. But, uh,. You can see I have a turbo, a jammer, which um, I don't use it in this video, but from what I remember, like, it jams, like, the radar and stuff, and, like, the cops, like, all of a sudden, like, they can't use stuff against you. I'm almost positive. Or, or maybe that's EMP. I think jam, maybe, like, if there's, like, a, like a spike strip or something in front of you, I think it, like, removes it. And there you can see you get another cop which of course again not so realistic with the cops they're uh, driving Shelby GT500 super snakes not your average Arizona police I, I guess this is Arizona I don't know and as you can see right there I missed that shortcut slam into the wall but uh luckily you can dive back down and go through the caves here from what I remember like I I remember like there'd be hundreds of cop cars it seems you know obviously not literally hundreds but it seemed like you could never get away from the police and for some reason on this run I did a very good job of a avoiding cars like I just did there traffic and police don't wreck one time in this whole entire run um, you can see that the cops are rather vicious they'll slam into you and stuff Another great thing about this game, you can actually play as the cops, which is really cool. You know. It's no nothing better than driving like a Shelby Super Snake police car or Lamborghini police car or anything like that. As you can see this guy right here tries to spike strip me. But uh, I think I take him out. Yeah, and you can see of course, just barely hit him, and of course he has to flip. That's just that is, and I believe that cop right there behind me, yeah, he hits that spike strip the other cop put out, and then I total that cop, and by doing so, missed the helicopter spike strip that was there, if you guys saw that. And drifting in my Lamborghini Countach, of course. Why not? Just spike stripping the hell out of these cops. They give me six spike strips or something crazy like that, so why not use them? And then I miss my turn and go through some complex or something. That, that really messed me up there. Drove through a complete complex. I'm not sure, but that might have been a police department, like, in the game. Like, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure at all. Another cool thing about this game, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not over my voice, but the music in the background, that's actually, you know, like, you can choose the music. The music you have in your system. I happen to have Three Days Grace, so I was playing Three Days Grace in the background, which is really cool. And then you can see back there I use like the turbo boost or whatever, and uh, brakes are sort of useless when you use that. It's 
so I slammed right into the wall. And at this point, I'm getting a little bit like, what's going on? Because there were literally no cops after me. So, took my advantage of that and uh, flew across the line. Did it at a time of 414, gold medal. Not that great, as you can see, I'm second out of my friends. But uh, anyways, if you guys want to see more Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, or any other Need for Speeds for that matter, uh, make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys want to see, and uh, I'll try and do that. Thanks for watching. See ya.